Glossary. Add key terms. A glossary would typically contain key terms and definitions in a subject area. For instance, this theatre glossary. With a Moodle glossary, you can browse by alphabet, category, date or author. And you can also search for particular key terms. Because Moodle encourages collaboration, learners can add key terms to a Moodle glossary. So you could create a glossary where they build their knowledge together. Let's make a glossary in our Moodle course. To do that, we need to turn the editing on from the gear menu top right and then in the section where we want the glossary, I'm going to add mine to the writing section, we click the link Add an activity or resource. This brings up the activity chooser. Glossary is an activity because learners interact with it and so we click it once to get some information about ideas for using the glossary and then the add button at the bottom or we can simply click it twice to open it straight up. The name is important because this is what the learners will see on the course page. In the description you can add the instructions that you want to give them for adding their terms and you can display this description on the course page if you want by ticking the box. There are many other settings and you can find out about these and explore them by expanding the links. Such as if we click entries we can decide as our teacher whether to allow all entries to appear immediately or whether we want to moderate them first. Whether we want to allow duplicate entries, in other words can two learners post the same term and whether we want to allow them to comment on each other's entries. Linking glossary entries means that if a term is added to the course page or items within the course, then it is automatically hyperlinked to the glossary entry. This makes use of filters, which we explore in a separate video. Likewise, if we click on Appearance, we can decide how we want the glossary to be displayed. For instance, how many entries to show per page. Once we're happy with all of these settings, if we scroll down and click Save and Display, that takes us straight to the glossary where we can add our first term and we do this by clicking the Add a new entry button. This is what the learners will do when they contribute to the glossary. For concept, we type the actual word and in definition, we type what it means. It's possible to add keywords and also to add attachments to the glossary. And you see that as we go through each entry, we can decide whether it should be automatically linked or not, and whether to match whole words or just part of words inside the glossary entry. This is quite important to think about. Finally, we save the changes, and we have a glossary with one entry in it already. If you're considering trying the glossary activity, it's worth also exploring the random glossary entry block.